happy Saturday? I don't know. It doesn't feel like a weekend. Um, sorry that I've been on my lately. I've been, I had stuffed rope, and I feel like I've had it for like two weeks, and it just never went away, and yeah. So, I wanted to do a April favorites video, because it's going to be May, like next week, and I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe that it's going to be May next week. And April went by super fast. I feel like the summer's going to go by so quickly. Um, but yeah, I this is like hair products and hair stuff and this. So the eyeshadow that I've been using the whole month of April is the MAC. And I use this color right here. I have that in my eyes now. This is a perfect springtime eyeshadow color. It is purple. And it is my favorite color for eyes. And my favorite color, period. <clears throat> um, my favorite NYX. This is my favorite actually drugstore product, but I've been using this the whole month of April, and it is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, and I've talked about this a lot of times in my videos, but if you're like a beginner, I would strongly suggest purchasing this one because it is great to like make straight line right here, and Literally, it takes me one minute to make a straight line because I use this. That's how great it is. Um, I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation because when I go to work, I want to look. I feel like it takes me so much time to use foundation and then concealer and then, you know, a lot of stuff. So I just use concealer. <coughs> mm. And my favorite is the... Naked, Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, I repurchased this one because my kitten played with the other one and it went all over my um, floor in my apartment. So I had to repurchase this one. Yeah. And it sucked. But it sucked because my floor was like a whole mess because my kitten playing with it. So I had to hide it so she doesn't play with it. But this is my favorite concealer. I've been using this the whole month of April. It is like my favorite, favorite concealer, like ever. It's like the best. Um, I haven't been wearing eyeliner, but when I do, it's the 24-7 waterproof eyeliner. I'm not sure what that is. Here it is. It's this one. It's like a new formula, I feel like, because the other one was like gray and white, and this is all black. So this is like a brand new formula that they, the Urban Decay did. And I like this new formula better than the old one. I feel like it smudges less and on, on your water lines, it smudges less, and I like that. Um, I just don't like the fact that they don't have a sharpener in the box. Like, they should just give you a free sharpener. But I really do like this one, and I've been using this the whole month of April when I do wear eyeliner. So, yeah. I don't wear mascara because my eyes are just super watery, and it just makes it even more watery because of allergies and it's springtime and I have allergies. Um, but the liquid lipstick that I have been wearing all of April and it's my favorite. It's a Smashbox liquid lipstick in Bad B. So it looks like this. 
I have it on my lips now, but and it's just like super moisturizing my lips. Um, my lips were like super chapped before, and this just makes it moisturize it. Um, and I just I love this. It stays on my lips for so long. It's just overall my favorite liquid lipstick. And my the lip gloss that I like is the that I've been using the whole month of April. It's a naked and it is in the color naked. I think this is by Urban Decay. I think. I think this is by Urban Decay. Um so I've been using these like BH cosmetic brushes. And I love them, and they're just really, this is good for bronzer and blush. And that's what I use in my face. Is this and the eyeshadow brush. And I use my, the Tarte Bamboo brush for my concealer, you know, doing like that, touching it up. It's great for that. Um, bronzer, I've been using the, I just had it here because I did my makeup, don't know where it is, but it's the Too Faced, um, chocolate, milk, milk chocolate Soleil, and that's what I have my face now, it is my favorite bronzer, like, Ever, and it's just a very natural brown bronzer. I love it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Duh, right in front of me. <laughs> okay, this is it. It's my favorite. Um, for blush, I like to use the Benefit Rockateur blush. That reminds me, I haven't put it on yet. But it's a very natural blush, and I like that one. So, I know I don't really talk about teeth or why how I get white teeth but this is I've had this for like so many months and this is the GCMI Pace Plus it, it it says I bought this actually an orthodontist gave me this for free to try and I've loved it ever since then and I buy it online and it says that, does it say? No, well, it's, it prevents cavities because it has fluoride in it. And it makes your teeth white because, literally, it's white paste. Like, literally, it looks like this. You put it on your teeth, and you have to rinse it out. And But before, I think you were supposed, like, I think the MI Paste, it wasn't MI Paste Plus, and you could um, swallow it. Someone, an orthodontist did tell me you could swallow this, but since it has fluoride in it, you can't swallow fluoride, so you have to rinse it out, and it just makes your teeth whiter. Um, so I do, this is like my favorite white whitening thing for that, and it prevents cavities, and it really does do the trick. So that's my favorite. And yeah. Um, so my favorite body soap that I've been using the whole month of April is the Olay Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. It smells 
I don't know. I don't really smell it per se, but it just smells like shea butter. And I like how it's very, like, literally, it's thick. So it's like a thick white. And I like that on my body because it, like, makes my, my skin just very dry. And it's just like the thick on my body is just like feels smooth and I just I like that. I like thick stuff like that. So this one is really good because if you have dry skin, I would suggest using this one and it's from the drugstore so it's affordable. My favorite shampoo that I've been using the whole month of April is the Living Proof Full Shampoo. And I love this. This is my favorite. Okay, I'm sorry, Pyrology, but literally, this is my favorite high-end shampoo. Like, I love Living Proof. I love this shampoo. I... It doesn't really have a smell to it, but I feel like it, it doesn't make my it doesn't make my skin oil. I have really greasy hair, as you can kind of tell it's greasy now. And this does not make my hair greasy, more greasy. A lot of shampoos make my hair look so greasy and oily and feel gross and feeling like glue. This does not. It makes my hair have volume and not so thin. And I just, I love this one. And my ends are not, don't have break, breakage on it because I use the shampoo. And I also use, this is my favorite Hair, re hair treatment conditioning. This is the Lee Stafford for hair that never grows post a certain length. But it does have water in it, so it can make your hair really greasy. So you only need a small, 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 small bit. Small, small, small bit, you know, goes a long time. So this could actually take me a year see it looks like this and it looks like there's like so much water in it because I put in a shower and it's just the shower makes it more wet um but you just need a really tiny bit if you have oily hair and my hair does this does make my hair like greasy feel greasy and really greasy but my hair is thicker when I use this. And my hair does not come out. Like, a lot, like, does not, my hair does not fall out when I use this. And I've used, I noticed, this is 12 bucks from Ulta. And I do like this one. Like, it makes my hair thicker and I, I like using this. But my only complaint is, it makes my hair greasy. But, it's like my, the best hair treatment I've ever had. So yeah, that's good. Uh, my favorite detangler brush is this one, the Tangle Teaser, and I just I love it. I just I love this one. It is like makes my hair smooth, takes all the tangle out. It's just overall my favorite angle brush ever. I like this one. My friend suggested me to purchase this one and I bought it. I didn't buy anything at the um, Sephora sale because I just, nothing really sounded exciting to me and because um, I just, I have to go in the store to buy the products and I couldn't really go out to buy them because I was sick 
And when I order it online, they always give me a hassle and customer service is not that good. So that's why I have to go to the store and get it. But when there's a next sale, I want to buy some stuff from Sephora. Because I like Sephora. Uh, my favorite hairbrush that I've been using is, and it's really dirty now, and I'm really sorry. But it's the um, Olivia Garden, Garden Ceramic and Iron Brush. It is my favorite brush. I've had this for like two years. One or two years. I know you're supposed to like, every year you're supposed to buy a, a brush. But I love this brush. And it was like 19 bucks at Ulta. But it's just like my favorite brush because... It just makes my hair feel smooth, and I just feel like it's easy to use this. Um, it just makes my hair volume, too, and it's an overall the best brush I've ever had. So, purchase this one. Um, my favorite scent... Well, is the Chloe one. Although I've had this for like 10 months, maybe more. Um, it's just... Okay, sometimes you can smell the alcohol more than a scent. And that means you need to purchase a new one. But today, I don't smell the alcohol more than the scent. So that's good. So yeah. That is it for my April favorites. I hope you guys have a great one, and I'll talk to you guys really soon.